20 CQ20 meters whiskey 7 tango victor sierra CQ20 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 meters whiskey 7 tango victor sierra CQ20 CQ20 meters CQ20 CQ20 meters whiskey 7 tango victoria sugar <laughs> CQ, CQ, CQ 20 meters, CQ 20, CQ 20 meters, CQ, CQ, CQ 20 meters, Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor, Sierra, CQ 20, CQ 20 meters, Whiskey 7, Tango, Victoria, Sugar. <laughs> Looks like it might be a little bit slow tonight, we'll see what happens here, we're just getting rolling though. CQ20, CQ20 meters, CQ20, CQ20 meters, Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor, Sierra, CQ20, CQ20 meters, CQ20, CQ20 meters, Whiskey 7, Tango, Victoria, Sugar. Kilo 8 with Whiskey Bravo 6, Mike Papa Hotel. Okay, Whiskey Bravo 6, Mike Papa Hotel. Looks like Greg down there in California. QSL? QSL. Hey, thanks for coming back to me. I just heard the CQ. I missed your call, but uh, I was kind of surprised that uh, you heard me. I'm running uh, about 15 watts into a V-dipole in my backyard. Oh, roger, roger. Well, that 15 watts is definitely working for you there, sir. I got you about a 5 and 7. About a 57 up here into central Montana. And uh, just so you know, the call sign there is uh, a Whiskey 7 Tango Victor Sierra there. QSL? QSL, Whiskey 7 Tango Victor Sierra. Yeah, this is Whiskey Bravo, 6 miles per hour. And you're 5 nine. Definitely coming in, booming in here. I uh, just um, tried out my photo station, and I'll also be on the uh, Route 66 uh, QSL party starting Friday. So uh, listen to, uh, watch for me on uh, DX Summit. I'll be uh, with C6 Bravo. Roger, Roger. Well, that sounds like a good deal. All right, I'll have to pay attention to that there. I, uh, I only get a day or two a week, but, you know, to, to come out here and play radio, but that's all right. You know, I'll definitely pay attention. So, anyway, there you go. All right, man. Well, I really appreciate the contact there. And that thing's working for you for 15 watts, man. Uh, my working conditions up here an ICOM IC 7300. Uh, I'm on a PR781 microphone here. Uh, Clipperton L amplifier. I'm only running about five, about four or 500 watts out here. And uh, my antenna is a homemade 20 meter mono band horizontal dipole made out of aluminum. And uh, it is broadside east and west there, about 30 feet in the air. QSL? QSL, yeah. Well, our antennas are kind of similar. I'm using a, a V dipole. Thanks for the uh, likes. And the follows. Uh, made from two um, 18 foot whips. Uh, they're about 17 foot 4 inches each. Of, uh, I, I, you know, they're, they're tunable. So um, I have it, um, well, I think it's pointed about due uh, east. Due east. So I'm, I'm a little bit uh, south of you there. But um, yeah, the booming signal. Thanks for the uh, follows, I have an guys. 7300 in my ham shack, which is about 50 feet away. But uh, I thought I'd play, uh, you know, test out my photo station. Uh, so anyway, uh, very good. You're, uh, you got a great signal here. I have a Kenwood amp, but I haven't got it working yet. Uh, so back to you. Uh, w, uh, well, I can't read my writing here. I did write it down. Uh, W7KVS, this is WB6MPH. <laughs> roger, roger. Yeah, so that's, a, well, it's a, it's working good for you, man, that's for sure. And if you're going to use Verpota, I would say it's definitely doing a good job there for you, Greg. So, all right, man, well, uh, keep up the good work there, sir. You're doing great. I got you logged in the logbook. I'm going to see if I can't make a few more out here tonight. And uh, we're just kind of getting started here. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what the heck happens. So, anyway, take care out there around California. Thank you very much. You're my uh, first contact here on this frequency tonight. Hopefully the first of many, and we'll see how it goes. So, like I said, keep up the good work there, sir. You're doing an excellent job. And uh, we'll catch you on down the coax another time there, Greg. Whiskey Bravo 6, Mike Papa Hotel. Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor Sierra. Out here in the town that holds your pants up. Called Belt, Montana, 73. 73, and good luck. Have fun. Yep. <laughs> Glad to be here first. <laughs> roger, roger. Uh, Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor Sierra. QRZ. November 8, 4, Roger, you're born. 
Okay, November 8, Lima Oscar uniform. Looks like uh, Lewis there in Michigan there, QSL. <laughs> QSL, yeah. Good signal from the, from the seat of my pants. To, uh, <laughs> roger, roger there, Lewis. Well, I appreciate you getting in there again, sir. And, uh, yeah, good deal, man. I, I had you at about a 5 and 9, and then you kind of dropped down on me, but that's just conditions. I mean, what the heck are you going to do? But uh, but good signal over here from Michigan there, sir. Yeah, you're 5 and 9 also. I, mean, I think there's uh, something about a hip. You got a hemi in that thing? Anyway, a long story. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we got a hemi in this bad boy. So we got a, or we got a hem there in the, in the pants there, yeah. That's what happens. I probably need to pull a him out of my pants, to be honest with you. You know, I'm not the skinniest guy in the world, but <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, well, thanks for answering, and enjoy your evening. Uh, 7 3 from the 10 8 LOU, Portable 8, Blueberry Michigan, Plumber on Squad. Roger, Roger there, Lewis. All right, man. We got you logged in the logbook. Thank you for the contact there, sir. And uh, we'll get you on down the coax next time around there, my friend. Thank you very much for coming in there again. November 8, Lima Oscar uniform. Uh, Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra 73. Okay, ending in Foxtrot again. Kilo Mike 6, Oscar Zulu Foxtrot. All right, Kilo Mike 6, Oscar Zulu Foxtrot. Looks like John down there in San Marcos. QSL? Yeah, QSL. Yeah, right on. We got a great signal down here in San Diego. You're a 5'9 plus, over. Roger, Roger there, John. I appreciate the 5'9 plus there. So it looks like that's our third contact. So we had, uh, gosh, one just about a month ago and one uh, about a month and a half ago there, give or take a little bit. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you're a good solid 59 up here, man. Good 5-9 in the Belt, Montana there, Roger. Yeah, Roger. Love my Montana, people. So, hey, have a great rest of your week out there. Roger, Roger. All right, John, thank you very much for the contact there, sir. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you on down the log another time there, my friend. Thank you again for getting in there. I love uh, love getting the, the repeat customers on the payroll, so to speak, there. So, <laughs> anyway, have a good one there, John. Kilo Mike 6, Oscar Zulu Foxtrot, Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra, uh, 73, sir. And did I hear a, a, a Kilo Echo 8 Whiskey Lima Whiskey? Is that what I heard in there? <laughs> Holy cow, 25 over out there. Okay, well, good deal, man. Yeah, great talking to you on the phone today, too, earlier there, Garrett. I thought I heard you in there. I, I recognized the voice, and uh, I was like, ah, I'm pretty sure that was him. So, <laughs> there you go, buddy. And uh, let's see, earlier, I know where you were at. Where are you at now? Yeah, Roger, Roger. I got you down here. I got you about 25 over here in uh, Louisiana. I'm at about watts on the uh, 891 uh, but it's real hard to hear you 73 Roger Roger Garrett alright man I appreciate you realistically 5-5 five and five to 5-7 and seven up here tonight from Louisiana so that 18 wheeler is still working for you there buddy as usual you got a good setup in that thing man with that ATOS antenna and 100 watts out there buddy so drive safe out there on that 18 wheeler there Garrett thank you very much for coming in we'll catch you all next time around Whiskey 7, Tango Victor, or uh, excuse me, Kilo Echo 8, Whiskey Lima Whiskey. Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra in Belt, Montana, 73. Whiskey Bravo 3, Echo Mike B. Okay, was that Whiskey Bravo 3, Echo Mike Lima? Is that what I heard? Skip, Rod Rogers. Skip, Whiskey Bravo 3, Echo Mike Lima. Roger, Roger. All right. Well, you're sounding good over here, man. You got to get a five and seven to five eight signal up here into Central Montana. There, QSL. Yep. Roger, Travis City. Yeah, you're anywhere from uh, five eight to five nine, maybe a little bit over at times here. Uh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, I'm also running the PR seven eighty one, Mike, and this this is pole. Thanks for the follows, guys. Here, Travis, over. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Well, it's definitely working for you there, sir. That's for sure. And uh, yeah, good signal. The band's a little bit up and down tonight. It's not the uh, the best conditions in the world, but you know what are you gonna do? So that's <laughs> that's just the way twenty meters goes, man. But uh, I don't know. 
we're going to be counting up on, we're probably counting up on gray line right about now. And uh, so, yeah, conditions are going to get a little bit funky here for a little bit there. QSL? Yep, it's definitely up and down, but you're loud. Yeah, you're, you're pretty good there. I guess the uh, Cleverton's working good there. I have a, I have a deal. I don't have it on right now. I'm just running there, but I haven't picked it up. Since I got this radio yet, I have to redo the shack and what fun stuff. But, uh, I'll actually work some more there. But, uh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, get that that DLA one thousand working, man. Those are killer amps. Uh, I've had really good luck with this Clipper Tonell. I've I've had it for quite a few years, and uh, she's got some fresh tubes in her here about three or four months ago now. So she's doing real good. I don't run it very hard though. You know, I run about full pile. I guess now it's warmed up a little bit. It's running about five or six hundred watts there, give or take a little bit. That's that's where we're peeking out at. So I, I've never pushed this thing very hard, but it's been a great amp. But uh, anyway, there you go, man. All right. Well, thank you very much, there, sir. And we'll catch you on down the log another time. Whiskey Bravo 3 Echo Mike Lima. Whiskey 7 Tango Victor Sierra out here in the town that holds your pants up called Belt, Montana, 73. QRZ. Alpha Zero Hotel Zoo Papa. All right, Kilowatt Alpha Zero, Hotel Zulu Papa. Looks like uh, William there in Missouri, QSL. Roger, Roger, Travis. Thank you very much for picking me up. I uh, monitor uh, 20 meters quite a bit, and I hear you on, and you're always uh, at least 10 over. Uh, we're in uh, St. Louis, Missouri, and been licensed since 1958, and uh, enjoying every uh, second we get on the Roger, Roger. Well, I appreciate the, the 10 over 9 over there in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, yeah, kind of a modest station over here. You know, a lot of it, well, I ain't going to lie. I do live on a little hill. That does help a little bit, um, you know, rather than down in the bowl of the city there. But uh, anyway, you're doing pretty good, man. Good solid 5 and 7 up here. Conditions, again, are a little bit up and down. But, uh, yeah, decent signal from St. Louis tonight there. QSL? Yeah, Roger, Roger. Tower about 30 feet up, and uh, it worked out pretty good for us. It's pretty simple. 7300 is a badass radio, man. Love it. Uh, Absolutely there, William. It's my pleasure, sir, 100%. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, it, it is beautiful out here. I'll give it that. Fall is definitely upon us. And uh, I bet you within a month we got snow on the ground. So that's <laughs> that's kind of how it works out here. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. Maybe not. It may not happen until November. You know, who knows? We'll see. There's no way to tell. But, uh, anyway, all right, sir, I really appreciate you there, William. Thank you very much. I got you logged in a logbook there, sir. And just so anybody listening there, if, uh, if you want a QSL card, man, you either uh, – just shoot me one out, and I'll uh, send you one back. I check the mail about once a week. We do not have mail service here in Belt, Montana, so I have to go to the post office. And uh, if you're a shortwave listener and just want a QSL card, shoot me an email. And uh, if uh, if you don't have a QSL card and still want one and we made a contact, I'm good on QRZ. Shoot me an email. I'll shoot you one back. I'm, I'll shoot a, a QSL card in the mail to you, so no problem there. Any, any way, shape, or form, definitely enjoy it. Uh, even EQSL. I mean, what the heck? I don't care either direction, but uh, all right, William, thank you very much there, sir. You have a great rest of your night. We'll catch you on down the coax another time there, sir. Uh, sounded good from Missouri. Kilo Alpha Zero, Hotel Zulu Papa, Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra out here in Belt, Montana, 73. Thanks, Travis. 73 and 17. Kilo Sierra Uniform. Yeah, I heard a Kilo 9. Kilo 9 station again. Kilo 9, Kilo Sierra Uniform. All right, Kilo 9, Kilo Sierra Uniform. That looks like Brian in Kansas there, QSL. QSL, 100 watts of wire from Kansas. Roger, Roger. That thing's really working good for you there. You know, it's interesting. I was looking on your QRZ page, and, uh, oh, by the way, you're about a 5 and 9 up here, real close, 5, 8, 5, 9. And uh, there's a, that, that what is it, the, the cats or the wild cats or whatever it is. I got a QSL card up here on the wall from the uh, – I'd have to pull it down and look at it. But anyway, from the school district over there somewhere, and it's the exact same logo on it there. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, this is hard for a contact. My, my QSL is 
USL card actually has has that same logo on it, so uh, um, I'll get you one out. <laughs> copy, copy there, Brian. Yeah, it was a uh, it was a thing they were doing here a few months ago. It was a, a school district deal. They had the youngsters on the air there, you know, the middle schoolers at the at the uh, at the school station. And boy, I just couldn't resist. I, I had a key up and made contact with them. And of course, I shot them a card, you know, and they shot me one back. And I was like, hey, that's really cool, you know. So anyway, just just caught my eye there. But uh, all right, Brian. Well, I appreciate it there, sir. You got anything else for me tonight? <laughs> No, I don't. I just wanted to let you know I'm carrying in Kansas, sir. Have a great day in 7-3. Roger, roger there, sir. Like I said, shoot me one out. I'll, I'll get one back. I, I usually uh, check my mail on Wednesdays like I did today, and then I sit down make all my QSL cards, and tomorrow I'll run back down to the post office and drop them all off. So get them out about once a week. But uh, anyway there, sir. All righty. I appreciate the contact, and we'll catch you on down the log another time there, Brian. Thank you very much. Kilo 9, Kilo Sierra Uniform, Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor Sierra out here in Belt, Montana, 73. QRZ. Kilo Bravo 9, Sierra. Okay, Kilo Bravo 9, Sierra something. Uh, Kilo Bravo 9, Sierra Charlie Tango. I've got you 5-9 here in Southwest Wisconsin. Uh, how's it going over there this evening? Oh, pretty good there, Mark. Pretty darn good. I'm just uh, sitting over here just playing on the radio, you know. That's, <laughs> that's what I like to do on Wednesday nights there. And, uh, yeah, good signal over here too, man. Good solid 5-9 and nine there, Roger. Yeah, sounds good. I'm at 100 watts. I've got a uh, G- G5 RV uh uh, disguised as a uh, flagpole antenna or a, a BTV. I'm sorry, BTV, a five BTV disguised as a flagpole uh, in my backyard here that I've been using. It's a nice vertical. It gets me pretty much everywhere from the Midwest to uh, <laughs> coast, coast and uh, it works out pretty well. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Those five BTs do work pretty good, man. I hear good things about them there, definitely. Um, so my working conditions over here, IC 7300. And I'm running a, a Dentron Clipper Tonnel Heil PR 781 microphone. I'm running about five or 600 watts over here. And uh, my antenna is a homemade 20 meter mono band horizontal dipole that I built out of uh, aluminum. Just kind of put it together one day here, I don't know, a month and a half, two months ago. Stuck it up in the air, and it's a broadside east and west about 30 feet in the air there, Roger. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're just, uh, yeah, you got a great signal coming here tonight. So anyway, I just wanted to see myself on your uh, on your waterfall on TikTok, so uh, I thought I'd uh, give you a call. Yeah, Roger, Roger there, Mark. All right, well, good deal, man. I appreciate you getting in the live there as well. That's really cool that you come in there and check that out, and uh, that's much appreciated, absolutely. I think that's so cool because every week when I do this, I get, I get a few people in there, a handful of them anyway, that that are uh, sitting there in the live paying attention. So anyway, I pick out who I can. I got, you know, tons of people out there jumping up and down. So I pull out who I can. I do apologize if I don't get everybody. But uh, anyway, that's just the way she goes. So, all right, Mark, thank you very much again there, sir. Much appreciated. I got you in the logbook on QRZ. And we will catch you next time around there, my friend. Kilo Bravo 9, Sierra Charlie Tango, Whiskey 7 Tango Victor Sierra, out here in the town that holds your pants up, called Belt, Montana, 73, sir. November zero. Listen to that pile up. Holy crap. All right, November zero. November zero station again, please. November zero, Italy, Radio November, Portland. All right, November 0, Italy, Radio November, Portable. Looks like uh, Gary out of Missouri there. I don't know if you're in Missouri, but you sound like you're portable there. QSL? Uh, QSL, I'm about uh, 75 miles north of home at Stockton Lake, Missouri. So uh, working off a homemade dipole and uh, an FT950, 100 watts. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for the follows and likes. Plus. Roger, Roger. Well, I do appreciate that signal report there for sure. You're kind of going up and down, but that's just the band. You're a good 5'8 to 5'9 out here. I should say 5'7 to 5'9, kind of peeking out. But uh, anyway, that thing's definitely working good for you, that portable there, Gary. QSL? Uh, QSL, I appreciate it. Well, uh, give me your whole call sign again, and I'll say 73. Have fun. Roger, Roger, Gary. My call sign is Whiskey 7 Tango Victor Sierra. I got it. Whiskey Tango. Whiskey 7 Tango Victor Sierra. 73. Copy, copy, Gary. All right. Thank you very much there, sir. 73 right back at you, my friend. Thank you very much for being there tonight. I really appreciate that. And I did get you in the logbook there, sir. 
Uh, November Zero, India, Romeo, November, Whiskey Seven, Tango, Victor Sierra out here. Kilo 6, Golf Charlie November. Looks like uh, Bob there in California, QSL. QSL, and I think uh, I see Travis. Is that correct? Yeah, Roger, Roger. Yeah, you got a good signal up here there, sir. And I actually saw it as Robert. So I, I hope I didn't uh, didn't didn't offend you or anything there. <laughs> oh, not at all. You reminded me I've got to update my um, uh, QRZ page because it's a little bit out of date right now. Uh, we moved to a, a antenna restricted location uh, in Eldorado Hills, and uh, my antenna is just uh, actually an, an, a, a stealth eighty meter end fed wire uh, at its maximum height, probably about LU3DCS, hello, uh, sir. I heard you sir. running an ICOM 7300. It sounds great. You've got the audio processing tweaked beautifully. And I just got a, a brand new Yesu FTDX10, so I'm playing with the audio here. Oh, Roger, Roger. Well, that uh, that antenna restricted uh, HOA there for whatever you got, what you got going on is working real good. You're a good solid 5.9. I've seen you uh, five over there at one point bouncing up there. So, yeah, fantastic signal. And, uh, yeah, those FTDX10s are awesome rigs. And I'll tell you what, man, it took me quite a while to get uh, to get this uh, get this radio set up. I, I'm kind of a loud person in general, so my voice is loud, and um, I the microphone does not suit this radio. So I had to uh, I really had to go in there and tweak the uh, the settings there. I have a, a, a buddy of mine that I've been playing radio with for I don't know twenty plus years, you know, and he he, uh, he says, man, you sound like crap. He's over in Oregon there. And uh, we were on 75 meters, and we went off on another frequency, and it took us quite a while. We finally got all the settings just right. And he says, it sounds like you're sitting next to me talking to me. Just leave it alone, and I've never touched it since. So I, I don't really know what I sound like exactly. I've heard some recordings, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess, you know, once you get it set up, it's like don't don't fix it if it ain't broke there, Roger. Uh, absolutely. It's, it's very clean, Travis. And, uh, gosh, the way you've got the audio set up, it's comfortable. Uh, very comfortable listening for rag chewing, but it's also got that little bite for DX work. So I, I agree with your friend. I think you've got it set up exactly. And, and that's kind of where I am with this rig here. I've been experimenting over the past few days, and I had uh, my, my first contact told me my audio was awful. Uh, so that inspired me to, <laughs> to, to mess around. But, yeah, you, you're right. Once you set it, leave it alone, and that's what everybody's been telling me. So, uh, Travis, hey, really good to, to, to make contact with you. Short Skip is, is working tonight. You're peaking 20 over. Beautiful signal. Uh, so I'll let you work some other stations before the band closes down, but I do appreciate the opportunity to contact you, Travis. Uh, W7TV at K6GCN. Copy, copy there, Robert. All right, man. I really appreciate you there, sir. Yeah, you, you do got a really good sound and audio, man. Really nice and clean. And, uh, yeah, just, just sounds good. I don't know you face-to-face, but just good, clean, wholesome, clear audio. And, uh, man, you just really can't go wrong. That last time you were peaking 10 over. So, yeah, good setup you got going down there in California there, my friend. All right, Robert, I really appreciate you there, sir. And uh, thank you very much for the audio and signal report there. That's much appreciated. And uh, hope you have a great rest of your evening out there. And, yeah, as of now, conditions are looking pretty good. So we'll see how long they last. I usually last a couple hours out here, and then I kind of – kind of roll around and do some DX, and then I shut her down. So I'm not, I ain't going to be out here too awful late. But, you know, who knows? I've said that before and been out here till 1 in the morning, so it's hard to say. <laughs> All right, Robert, I appreciate you there, sir. We'll catch you next time. Kilo 6, Golf Charlie November, Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor Sierra, out here in Belt, Montana, 73, sir. All right, 73, Travis. I really appreciate the contact, and good luck. Have a lot of fun. I, it sounds like you're doing that. W7 TV, SK6 GCN. Copy, copy, Robert. All right, man. 73 to you, sir. Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor, Sierra, QRZ. Kilowatt Charlie for India. Kilowatt Charlie for India. Oh, what the heck did my pages do there? Anyway, I got your good signal, man. Kilowatt Charlie, I'm hang on. Sorry, that's my uh, technical clerical error over here. I just messed the whole thing up. There we go. Looks like Jack in Georgia there, QSL. <laughs> Yeah, Roger, I can see several people calling, so I will uh, hold you very long. But uh, you have a good, strong signal here in Georgia, good audio. You're a 5 nine, and um, I thank you for taking my call from uh, Montana. Uh, very good evening to you. I guess it's about dark by now. Uh, it's been dark here a while. Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor, Sierra in Montana. This is Kilowatt, Charlie, for Italy in Georgia. 
Roger, Roger. There, sir. All right. Well, you got a great signal yourself. Fantastic audio. Beautiful signal. Good, solid 10 over 9 up here tonight, man. You're doing a really good job. So no complaints on my end whatsoever. But, uh, all right there, sir. Thank you very much. I got you logged in the logbook. And uh, my clerical error got fixed on my end rather abruptly. So, anyway, there you go. Okay. All right. Kilo Charlie for India. I like the call sign, too. Nice and short and sweet and to the point. Got to love that. Hey, you have a great night there, sir. Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor, Sierra in Central Montana. 73, my friend. Thank you. 73. Bye-bye. Yeah, I think I heard a Sierra Kilo something. Sierra Kilo Kilo. Is that what I heard? Sierra Kilo Zulu. Yeah, I got Sierra Kilo Zulu. What was the first part? Sierra Kilo Zulu. QSL? There we go. Okay, Kilo Delta 8, Sierra Kilo Zulu. That's Levi in West Virginia there. Roger, Roger. Hey, Roger, Roger. Uh, thanks for taking my call, Travis. Uh, hey, and uh, we're going to see your audio. I actually found you with some scrolling through TikTok here. And you sound over the radio just as well as you sound on uh, the TikTok app. So uh, you're, you're sounding really good uh, here. You're a solid 5 9 into uh, Whiskey Victor. See us out? Roger, Roger there, Levi. Well, I appreciate that there. And see, that's what I was just telling the other guys. Like, you're hearing me on the live over the internet, and you're hearing me on the radio. And like I said, my buddy um, that I know face to face, I've known him for 20 plus years, he, uh, he told me, he said, it sounds like you're sitting right next to me, man. Don't touch it. So that's, that's what I did. <laughs> it, it, it works. So anyway, I really appreciate that there, Levi. And you got a good signal up here, too, man. 5'7 to 5'8, jumping around a little bit, but that's just band conditions. And I do, uh, I want to say thank you very much for coming in the live and watching it as well there, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger, and I appreciate the food. I'm down here in the hay in, uh, in West Virginia. I, I happen to live in one of the few non-hillsocks here, so I have a little bit of a problem in Vietnam. But uh, so I can watch down to Montana. I'll take a 5-7 with uh, some TSC any day of the week. Hey, I'll let you take some other calls here, Travis. You have a good day, 73, and thanks for taking my call. Uh, so can you that case then? Roger, Roger, Levi. All right, man. I appreciate it over there from West Virginia. And, uh, yeah, I understand. Well, the town I live in is actually in a hole. So you kind of uh, you, you come off the highway and you turn down this road and you drive literally one mile. And it's straight. It's downhill the whole darn way. And then all of a sudden you come around a corner and all of a sudden, hey, look, a town. <laughs> I said, I do kind of live on a hill, but I, I'm still down in the hole. So it's not really. Yeah, I understand what you're saying there, buddy. But, uh yeah, it's kind of one of those things. So thank you very much there, Levi. I hope you have a great rest of your night there, sir. And thank you for coming in the live. And uh, we'll catch you next time around. Kilo Delta 8, Sierra Kilo Zulu. Uh, Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra. 73, my friend. Kilo, Quebec 4, Delta 8. Romeo, you see Okay, Kilo, Quebec 4. Kilo, Quebec 4 again. Kilo, Quebec 4, Delta Hotel, Quebec. Roger, Roger. Okay, I think I think you were on key there. There's still a few people keying up, but I think I got it there. Kilo Quebec Four Delta Hotel uh, Quebec there. Yeah, Kilo Quebec Four Delta Hotel Quebec. Uh, Kenny there in uh, Jensen Beach, Florida. All right, I got you in there, man. You're about a five and six there. Five and six in the Montana QSL. Copy that. Copy that. You're uh, ten over nine in Florida here. Sounding really good here. 73, see you, and have a good rest of your evening. Roger, Roger there, Kenny. All right, man, I really appreciate the contact there, sir. We got you logged in a logbook on QRZ, and uh, we'll catch you next time around. Thank you very much for coming in, sir. It is uh, absolutely my pleasure. So have a great night out there around Florida. Stay safe, stay cool, all that good stuff out there, sir. Kilo Quebec 4, Delta Hotel Quebec. Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra out here in Central Montana, 73 in QRZ. Hey, okay, we're going to have to try that again. I couldn't pull anything out of that pile up there. Let's let's do it one more time. Uh, uh, QRZ. Hey, Delta, 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 yeah, I think I heard a Delta Victor Golf. Delta Victor Golf. Is, that, is there anybody out there like that? Uh, K9 Delta Victor Golf. 
Okay, so Kilo 9 Del Delta Victor Alpha, is that right? Roger, roger. Roger, roger. Well, looks like uh, Kenneth there in Missouri. Is that a QSL? That is a QSL. Yeah, I can is the name. And I'm in southwest Missouri. And uh, you got a nice signal going here. You're uh, uh, 10 over, at least 10 over S9 there, oh. Oh, Roger, Roger there, Ken. I appreciate the 10 over S9 out there. You're a pretty good 5.8 to 5.9 over here, man. Pretty solid signal. Uh, you came in there, and, well, you, you didn't necessarily cover up the pile up, but you're the one I pulled out of it, so I guess you can't, can't argue with that there, QSL. Roger, Roger. Yeah, just running 100 blocks here tonight. Uh, actually, uh, this is my first... Uh, Thanks for the likes. I've got a new radio... A new use maybe. Thanks for the follow the, uh, up. Plus 3000. I haven't uh, done much with it for setting up anything. Uh, pretty much just turned it on. So, uh, is she coming in okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sounds real good over here, you know. But uh, what kind of, yeah, like I said, you were you kind of jumping around, but that's just 20 meters doing its thing. But uh, you were a good solid 5 9 signal there. You got pretty good audio, nice and clean. What, uh, what kind of rig is it? The flex Roger, Roger. Oh, that flex radios are something to talk about, man. They are really, really cool rigs. I've never owned one, but uh, I hear really good things about them there. That's for sure there, Roger. Yeah, yeah, it's quite a learning experience for this old man. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot uh, for the uh, short q and uh, you take care out there. K9 DD8. Roger, Roger, Ken. All right, sir. Well, you take care out there, too, and uh, good luck getting used to that radio. I know when I got this 7300 a little over a year ago, it took me a long time to figure this thing out. So, <laughs> But uh, you'll get there eventually, man. It just takes, you know, that's part of the fun of ham radio is is uh, learning the stuff and tinkering with it and getting the plane of the settings and, and all the fun stuff there. So you'll get it down. But anyway, it sounds really good, man. You're doing a really good job with 100 watts. So. Anyway, we'll catch you on down the coax another time there, Ken. I did get you in the logbook there, sir, and I really appreciate the contact out there tonight. Uh, Kilo 9, Delta, Victor, Alpha, Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor, Sierra out here in Belt, Montana, 73, my friend. Hi, okay, November 3, November 3 again. November 3, Tango United, QRP. All right, November 3, Tango United, QRP station. That's uh, Greg in Delaware there, QSL. QSL, QSL, you're 5-9, you're 5-9, and running 5-1 to Delta Victor Alpha. Oh, my gosh, 5 watts into a hex beam. <laughs> well, you're a good solid 5-7 there, so, uh, you know, 5 watts into a hex beam from the East Coast. I guess he can't complain. Looks like we had another contact there, too, and that was back on, uh, let's see here, March 29th. And that was on 10 meters. So that's pretty cool. So I, I actually, I, I need to get a 10 meter antenna. I do not have anything resident on 10 right now. And uh, I, I've got a spot on my masting on the very top that I, I need to put a 10 meter antenna up because I know we're getting into 10 meter season again. So anyway, I'm going to try to get that taken care of before the snow falls. But uh, anyway, great job on the QRP signal there, sir. Roger. Hey, QSL, Travis. Yes, great to work here on, uh, on 20 meters. This is great here. And uh, I also run an IMAX 2000 uh, Roger, Roger. Well, I appreciate the 10 to 15 over 9, and that's that's what I was kind of thinking. I figured if I could just find me an old CB antenna somewhere, you know, an old Antron 99 or an or a, a IMAX or whatever the heck, and just cut it down, you know, that's all we need to do. Just cut 6 or 8 inches off the top there, and she'll be pretty resonant, you know, on the 10-meter band, so... That's, uh, that's my intention, so we'll see what the heck happens there. I kind of have a hard time wanting to buy a new one because I know I'm not going to use it that often, but we'll see. I might just pull the trigger on one. Who knows? So <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right there, Greg. I really appreciate the contact there. And, uh, contact number two for us there, sir. Hopefully we'll catch you on 10 meters here as uh, the winter gets a little bit closer and band conditions get better too on 10. It is an awfully fun band. So, uh, All right, sir. We'll catch you next time around there, Greg. Uh, November 3, Tango Uniform. Thank you very much, sir. Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra out here from the town that holds your pants up called Belt Mont. Montana, 73, my friend. All right, Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor Sierra, QRZ. Wow, 
Okay, Delta, Delta again. Whiskey 6, Bravo, Delta, Delta. All right, Whiskey 6, Bravo, Delta, Delta. That's uh, George in Kansas there, QSL. Yeah, Roger, Roger. You're, uh, you're allowed to throw out here. You're 59 over uh, into uh, Olathe, Kansas. Roger, Roger. Well, you're uh, you're blasting over here too, man. Good five nine plus five, anyway. So sounded real good there, George. Looks like is that a book that you wrote that I saw there? Yeah, I sure did. Uh, Thirteen years in the making, but uh, finally got it uh, published. Well, congratulations on that. I'm gonna have to go back and check that out. In fact, I think I'm gonna write it down in my uh, my handy dandy notebook that I got sitting right here. I'm just gonna write your call sign down and circle it. And then I'll be like, wait, why did I do that? And then I'll go back to it like tomorrow. I'll be like, oh, yeah, there we go. So anyway, I'm going to write that down and just check it out. And uh, I'm curious. You know, I just think that's really cool. Yeah, Roger, Travis. Uh, so we're about, uh, I'm familiar with Wyoming. I'm not too familiar with Montana. Yeah, I'm in uh, Belt, Montana out here is where I'm at. So I, uh, I'm about 17 miles south, southeast of Great Falls, Montana there. Just almost center of the state there. QSL. Uh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, I've got a good friend. Uh, he's down in Shoshone, Wyoming, near Riverton. And uh, I've been up there a couple times. And Yeah, he goes hunting. Um, not as far as Montana, but usually... Um, uh, in Thanks for the falls and the likes, of, guys. Uh, really appreciate uh, it, everybody. Boys, and, um, Thank Riverton. you for watching. But uh, anyway, yeah, so uh, you got any cold weather yet, yet or is it still uh, a little warm there? Oh, it's not, uh, well, it, it depends what you call cool. I mean, it, you know, I guess last night it got down to like 40 degrees and, you know, so it, yeah, the winters are coming here. I think it was close to 80 today, but, um, you know, it's getting down the, in the upper to the lower 40s at night. So within a month, we'll probably be freezing and, oh yeah, yeah, all the good stuff. The snow will be coming in no time. I figure within two to three months, it'll be 10 below zero there, QSL. Hey, Roger that. Yeah, we were 98 yesterday. Uh, yeah, yeah, 98 yesterday, and uh, today it was down below 80, so uh, right now it's 72 here, and uh, it's a little more comfortable, it would have been nice to have this through the whole summer, but uh, you know, gotta have those, uh, gotta have those few weeks of the, of the extreme heat. Yeah, Roger, Roger, yeah, that's just the way it goes, I think we hit 100 degrees two days over the summer. And, uh, which is a lot. It's really, really hot. You get 100 degrees out here. You know, we're really dry out here, too. So, unless it rains, of course, the humidity goes up or the snows or something. But even the snow is typically pretty darn dry. Usually it's blowing around out here and all that good stuff, too. So, <laughs> kind of one of those things. So, all right, George, I got a whole bunch of people out there, man. I don't want to keep everybody waiting. And uh, anyway, I really appreciate the contact there, sir, and hope you stay cool out there. Hopefully the leaves are changing for you and all that good stuff. I know they're starting to change out here, so fall is definitely coming upon us quick. But uh, all right there, sir. I will check that out. Like I said, tomorrow I wrote you down on my, my notepad and circled it, so I will your call sign there. So I'll go back and check that out a little bit more tomorrow when I have a little more time. And, uh, and I really appreciate you there, sir. I got you logged into QRZ as well. And I hope you have a great rest of your night out there, George. And we'll catch you next time around there, sir. Whiskey 6, Bravo, Delta, Delta. Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor, Sierra. I'm going to say 73, my friend. All right, 73, then uh, take it easy, W6, BDD, clear. Roger, Roger, 73, sir. Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor, Sierra, QRZ. Kilo Mike 4, Papa Oscar, Papa. Oh. All right, uh, I think he said kilowatt for Papa Oscar Papa. Looks like Don in Kentucky there, QSL. Kilo Mike for Papa Oscar Papa. All right, my mistake on that one. I do apologize. Kilo Mike for Papa Oscar Papa. That's Robert in Florida. You're buying up plus 20 with my friend. Send me some snow. Send me some bad weather. Uh, uh, not a hurricane, but send me something. And with that, I will say 732, sir. Thank you. Roger, Roger. Well, <laughs> I have a lot of people tell me that. People in Arizona and stuff, too. Like, send that snow down here. So, yeah, that's a, I'll, I'll put the good vibes headed your direction there. You know, maybe we'll, we'll uh, deter a weather band on down your direction there to the southeast corner of the country. So, <laughs> cool you off a little bit. So, all right, Roger, uh, Robert, I just want to let you know that you're uh, you're a good 10 over 9, man. 
good solid signal over here in Montana tonight there, sir. So uh, thank you very much. I got you logged in the logbook, and uh, we'll catch you next time around. Kilo Mike for Papa Oscar Papa. Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor Sierra out here in the town that holds your pants up called Belt, Montana. 73, my friend. 73, sir. Thank you. Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor Sierra, QRZ. Alpha, Charlie, 9, Yankee, Entry, Sierra, Kilo, Kilo. All right, Alpha, Charlie, 9, Yankee, X-Ray. Looks like uh, Jeff in Illinois there, QSL. QSL, and you're booming in here a good 5-9. Yeah, you're doing the same there, sir. Good solid 5-9 signal up here into central Montana tonight there, Jeff. Beautiful signal. Yeah, I just turned the radio on a while ago and just to see who I could hear. And you yes, sir, through. I do. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Well, I appreciate you getting in there, Jeff. That's a, that's a good deal, man. I got quite the pile up going here now. I got... <laughs> I don't know. I'm start. I'm going to have to do something a little different to be able to pick some other people out of there too. So I don't know. We'll see what the heck happens. But you're you're just a beautiful signal. Came in there and uh, just about covered everybody up. I was able to pull you out of there anyway. Man, I'm just running a hundred watts off of a vertical in the backyard, so it's working, I guess. Yeah, Roger, Roger. It's definitely working good for you. So my working conditions out here, just so you know, is a uh, ICOM seventy three hundred. Uh, Heil PR781 microphone. I run everything off a foot pedal over here. And uh, Dentron Clipper Tonnell running about five or 600 watts. And uh, my antenna is a homemade uh, 20 meter mono band horizontal dipole. About 30 feet in the air, and she is broadside east and west there. QSL? Yeah, I'm working on putting the dipole up. It'd be facing east. Of course, living in the middle of the country. That way, I can get both sides of the country that way. Well, that was my thought on the east and west thing, too. I figured, you know, if conditions are running west, I'll get all that. And then, uh, you know, running uh, over to Europe and whatnot, I get pretty much all that when it comes in, too. So I'd like to get a little bit more aluminum up in the air, add another uh, reflector to it or something. But that's not going to happen before the snow flies this year. I can already see that one. So there you go. All right, Jeff, I'm going to let you go there, sir. And we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll catch you on down the coax another time there, sir. Beautiful signal into Montana. And I uh, got you logged in the logbook there. So we'll catch you next time, my friend. Alpha Charlie 9, Yankee X-Ray, uh, Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor Sierra out here in central Montana. 73, sir. 73, Whiskey Juliet November. Alpha Kilo. Okay, Whiskey Juliet November again. Kilo Watt 3, Kilo Watt 3, Whiskey Juliet November. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Kilowatt 3, Whiskey, Juliet, November. That looks like uh, Richard in Pennsylvania there, QSL. QSL, that's me. You've got a nice signal here in uh, southwestern Pennsylvania, about 30 miles north of the city of Pittsburgh. And the name is Rich. Go ahead. Roger, Roger there, Rich. I got, a, I got you about a 5 and 6 to 5 and 7 over here, man. Not a huge signal, but, uh, but you beat everybody to the punch there, Roger. Uh, QSL, I try. I try. I'm running 100 watts here. Uh, I call them 7300. And the ground mounted by an up vertical. I will keep you going. Lots calling you. 73, thanks for coming back to me. Excuse me, K3WJ and clear. Copy, copy there, Rich. All right, man, I really appreciate the contact there, sir. Thank you very much for being quick on the key. And that 100 watts and that, that butternut vertical is working for you there, my friend. So keep up the good work there, sir. you got a great sound of radio, awesome audio, just crystal clear. So that's what I love to hear out here, man. All right, Rich, have a great rest of your night there, sir. And thank you very much for the contact. And we'll catch you on down the coax another time, my friend. Uh, Kilo 3, Whiskey Juliet November. Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra out here in central Montana. 73. Okay, QRP station. QRP again. November Golf 9 Bravo. Looks like uh, Michael in Wisconsin there. QSL? QSL, uh, catch you 5-9 plus 25 over. Here in Wisconsin. Uh, running one watt. Good night. One watt to a hex beam. Over. Well, I'm going to tell you right now two things. Number one, thank you very much for the 5-9 plus 25 over. I really appreciate that. One watt into a hex beam over there. Um, well, I'm going to tell you, you're you're a good solid. Uh, well, very, jumping up and down a little bit, but again, that's the band. But I, I'm logging at a five and seven, man. 
I saw you bump up just a touch over five and seven over here. So good signal from uh, one watt through a hex beam. <laughs> It's a ham radio, yeah, buddy. Uh, going through HF rig. Uh, but thank you. But anyway, Travis thought I'd uh, give you a quick holler and uh, see if I can get through with one lot. So uh, we'll say 73 and uh, have fun. Uh, November golf time, Bravo. We're clear. Roger, Roger there, Michael. All right, man. Well, yeah, you're doing a good job there, sir. I will tell you, you know, just, just to be honest with you, you didn't break the pile up. But I had to listen for a minute. There's so many darn people out there. So I... Uh, yeah, I, I, I heard you in there, so that that's all that matters, man. You got on through there, so that's a good deal. So, great station. You're doing a really good job with one watt through a hex beam out there, sir. Keep up the good work. And, yeah, that poda hunt's a lot of fun. I like to do that stuff, too, man. I think it's a blast. So, anyway, there you go. But, uh, all right, Michael, have a great rest of your evening. Thank you very much for the contact. It is much appreciated on my end. Uh, November Golf 9 Bravo, Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor Sierra in Belt, Montana, 73, sir. Whiskey 7, Okay, Yankee Echo Whiskey. Was it a Kilo Bravo 2, Yankee Echo Whiskey? That's 100% correct. Name here is Guy Golf Uniform, Yankee, MNC, Coastal North Carolina. Roger, Roger there, guy. All right. Yeah, beautiful looking station there. Holy cow. Yeah, you got the big monitor and all that good stuff there. Yeah, and the FTDX10, it looks like. And oh, man. Yeah, you got a holy cow. You got a nice station there. That's really cool looking. That's uh, that's that's awesome, actually. I'll just give you that one. That's uh, <laughs> yeah, I need to get something set up like that with the external monitor. I think that'd be really cool. Anyway, man, you're a good 5.8 to 5.9 over here in the Montana there, Roger. Roger, Roger. Uh, also, right back. I got you out of 5.8 here out of to CNC. Nice signal, man. Nice signal. Um, you're probably doing all the heavy lifting here. We're just running that FTDX 10 barefoot into an 80 meter loop antenna up at 55 feet. Yeah, copy, copy. Well, that 80 meter loop antenna is definitely working for you there with 100 watts. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm running five or 600 watts out here. I'm not, not a tremendous amount of power, but. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, you know, like I said, your station's doing really good for 100 watts there in that loop antenna. I've always wanted to put one of those loops up. I've just never done it, and now I just don't have the property to do it. I'm, I'm up on the hill, so everything slopes down. I just don't have uh, I don't have a, a the, the the right place to put it now. There, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger, 100 percent. Yeah, and we just got a high 781 microphone and uh, helping out the just the fellows with a board behind the thing. So. Uh, Put a little pro audio equipment behind the 781. Gives it a nice little punch. Yeah, absolutely there, guy. That's for sure. That's what I'm running here, man. I got a PR781 as well. And uh, I love this microphone. I've had this thing for years. I actually bought it originally because I used to run a two-meter net. And uh, it was easier just to be able to use a foot pedal and have this thing in my face. And then, well, now I don't run the net anymore. And I just use it for HF. So that's <laughs> it's worked out good. But I love this mic. <laughs> To tell you the truth, I had the uh, PR40, and I just didn't like it. I used it with several different radios. I used it with my TS2000. Really didn't like it. So uh, I actually got in contact with Bob Heil, and after, uh, after he screwed me on what it's all about, he told me to uh, get the 781, and which I did, and I'm very happy with it. Yeah, copy, copy. No, I understand that. The PR40s are a really good microphone. Heil microphones in general are very good mics. I will give them that, but I have had the best luck with the 781. Um, I've got a Heil, uh, what is that? A, uh, oh, what is it? Heck, I got the, anyway, it's in a box or something. It's a, it's a headset, the, the Heil Pro 70 Lead or something like that. It just doesn't sound that good, you know. The, the, the 781 definitely out outdoes it and i know there's better ones than the 781 but i've been happy with it so if anybody were to ask me i would tell them to get a 781 my own opinion but anyway there you go so okay guy i'm not <laughs> i can sit here and blab all night man but there's a whole bunch of them there i got a big pile up i don't want to keep everybody waiting too darn long but uh anyway i really do appreciate the contact there sir and a great signal over here in the central montana tonight you jumped up good solid five and nine five over that last go around so anyway we'll catch you on down the coax 
contact another time there, sir. And, uh, again, pleasure to make your acquaintance. And uh, good luck with that setup, man. You're doing a really good job. Keep up the good work. Uh, Kilo Bravo 2, Yankee Echo Whiskey, Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra out here in central Montana. 73, my friend. <laughs> All the best. And if you hear me out there, give me a holler. Got you in the books at 5-9 both ways. 73, all the best. Roger, roger there, guy. Thank you very much there, sir. Same here, 5-9 both ways. Uh, 73, my friend. Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor Sierra, QRZ. Whiskey 7, Tango, Okay, I, let's try it one more time. One more time. Couldn't pull anything out. One more time. Whiskey, whiskey 7, Tango, X-ray, Victor Sierra. Echo. Okay, Whiskey 7, Tango, X-Ray, Victor. That looks like uh, Travis there in Nevada, QSL. Uh, QSL, uh, uh, I'm located in uh, Indian Springs, about uh, 30 minutes northwest of Las Vegas. Roger, Roger, Travis. Well, my name's Travis, too. I don't run into a Travis very often, so that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, good signal, man. You are a good solid 5 to 10 over 9 there tonight, QSL. Yeah, QSL, you're about 15 over S9 here. You sound real good. Roger, Roger, Travis. All right there, sir. Thank you very much for the contact. And uh, I really appreciate you there, sir. Whiskey 7, Tango X-Ray Victor down there in Nevada. Yeah, you're just beautiful signal, man. Just blasting up here. So hope you have a great rest of your night. Great to make your acquaintance, and we'll catch you on down the log another time. Uh, Whiskey 7, Tango X-Ray Victor. Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra up here in the beautiful state of Montana. 73, my friend. 73. You are Zed. November 6, Oscar Kilo United. All right, November 6, Oscar Kilo United. I recognize that voice anywhere. Good evening there, Willie. How are we doing, sir? I'm pretty good, Travis. You're booming into California, my friend. 5 9 plus 20. Roger, Roger, Willie. Appreciate the 5 9 plus 20. You're a good solid 10 over up here, there, my friend. Yes, hell, uh, Travis. Enjoy your pile up, my friend. Doing a good job. Have a good evening, my friend. 73, W7TVS, and 6 OKU. Copy, copy there, Willie. Thank you very much there, sir. Always a pleasure on my end here talking to you there, sir. You're doing a good job yourself, as usual. Beautiful station, beautiful sound and audio. So thank you very much, Willie. Have a great rest of your night out there around California. November 6, Oscar Kilo Uniform, Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra up here in Belt, Montana. 73, my friend. 73, Travis. Have a good evening, my friend. Oscar 4, Charlie Mike Kilo. Kilo, Delta Sierra, Sierra, Delta Sierra, Mobile. Okay, was that, was that Kilo? Kilo, Oscar, four, Charlie, Mike, Kilo. Is that what I heard? Roger, roger. All right, so that's Bob in Great Falls, Virginia. Well, that's pretty cool there, Bob, because I, uh, I'm i about 17 miles south-southeast of uh, Great Falls, Montana there, QSL. QSL. I'm not sure. It uh, depends on how high your falls are. Uh, but, uh, you know, some, some states don't have very big falls. Ours are kind of a little bit high, but not that high. But uh, you got a great signal, Travis. Uh, good audio, and you're uh, between the 5.7 and the 5.8 this evening. Over. Roger, Roger. You're about the same here. About, well, you're about a 5.8 to 5.9 there, sir. And uh, No, you're sounding real good. Yeah, our great falls are, um, well, I'll just say I've seen greater great falls before. <laughs> that makes any sense. But I didn't come up with the name, so what are you going to do? Great Falls, Montana. It sounds good. And it's cool to look at. It's really wide, you know, on the Missouri River over here. So, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely it's definitely a good spectacle to look at. And when you're on what we call the bypass over there by the river, there's a park on the other side of the river. And on the main road side there, there's a bunch of pullouts and stuff. It's actually kind of cool to look at. I guess I'm just used to it, you know. Yeah, well, Travis, I've, uh, I'm sort of in the back of my mind comparing it to Idaho Falls. And I think Idaho Falls are about two or three feet high maybe at the most. Over. Well, <laughs> it's a little bit bigger than that, yeah. I've seen Idaho Falls, too, but <laughs> that's, uh, no, it's, uh, I don't know, gosh, I would say it's probably, oh, man, 150 yards across and probably, oh, I would say about 50 yards high there or something like that. So it's it's pretty good size. Like I said, I've seen bigger, but it's it's not the smallest one. So, Travis, great talking to you. You know, you got a big backup behind you, so... Uh... I'll let uh, you go and have to uh, talk to some other people. But uh, great talking to you for the first time. Very good signal, and look forward to talking to you again uh, 
Maybe uh, when it snows up there, over. Yeah, copy, copy. Well, well uh, yeah, I really appreciate you there. And yeah, I'll definitely be on here when it snows. That doesn't stop me for nothing. So I just put a little bit of RF through the antenna, and she's good to go there. But of course, check your SWR first. You know, you got and you got to make sure everything gets really good and waterproofed out here. I'm sure you probably have the same issue over there. So yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things. But uh, anyway, all right, Bob, I appreciate you there, sir, and you have a great rest of your evening. I really appreciate the contact there, sir. I did get you logged into QRZ. And uh, have a great rest of your night. Kilo Oscar 4, Charlie Mike Kilo, Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra out here in the town that holds your pants up called Belt, Montana. 73, my friend. 73. Uh, whiskey Bravo 6, Kilowatt Whiskey, whiskey Lima. Okay, was that, uh, let's see, Whiskey Bravo 6 again. Whiskey Bravo 6, Kilowatt Whiskey Lima. I thought that's what it was there. Uh, Whiskey Bravo 6 Kilowatt Whiskey Lima. That looks like, uh, is it Stefan or Stefan there in California? Uh, Steve in California. Uh, down in the San Francisco Bay Area. You're 10 over 9 here, over. Sorry about that there, Steve. Okay, yeah, I, well, that's what I get for thinking. I should have just went with my first instinct. That's what it told me, but, you know, then I had to analyze it. And, well, that's just the way she went. So, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that there, sir. But, uh, yeah, you're a good 10 over 9 up here as well into Montana there, QSL. Uh, QSL, using some old Collins gear here, over. Oh, that Collins gear sounds absolutely beautiful. You can never beat the sound of a tube there. That uh, It's uh, just rock solid. I mean, beautiful audio, beautiful signal. Uh, how much power are you running down there? All right now it's showing I'm putting out about 500 watts, over. Yeah, Roger, Roger. That's about what I'm doing up here as well, about 500 watts. The only thing, tube that I'm running now is that old Dentron Clipperton L, just the amplifier. But uh, there you go. Well, that, that Collins gear is working really good for you there, Steve. Uh, Roger, it's a KWM380, which is solid state, into the uh, 3001 linear, which is a big type amplifier. Oh, copy, copy. So a little bit of the, the newer, quote-unquote, Collins stuff there. Okay. Well, good deal, man. We'll keep up the good work and keep running that Collins stuff. That is fantastic gear. Uh, I know a couple guys that have some really old Collins sets, and, man, it's it's cool and fun to run, too. So I don't have any of it, but uh, I'd love to get the hands on some at some point. But anyway, that's <laughs> that's here nor there. One of these days it'll happen if it's meant to happen. Maybe at a ham fest or something. You know, who knows? Anyway, there's Steve. All right there, sir. I really appreciate the contact, and I got you logged in a logbook. And I uh, hope you have a great rest of your night. Keep up the good work, my friend. you got a beautiful signal there. Uh, Whiskey Bravo 6, Kilo Whiskey Lima. Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra out here in central Montana. 73, my friend. 73. Whiskey Alpha 3, Yankee Okay, Whiskey Alpha 3 again. Yeah, Whiskey Alpha 3, Yankee Delta Charlie. Great signal here in uh, northeastern Pennsylvania, Travis. Uh, 59, 59, name is Joe. QSL. Roger, Roger there, Joe. Okay, I got you pulled up there, buddy. And uh, you got a dot too, too bad yourself. About a 5.7, about a 57 up here into central Montana tonight there, Roger. Thank you, so, uh, Running a barefoot uh, 7300 here into uh, G5RV. So 57 makes me happy, Travis. You know I'll tell you what I'm telling you. You just listen to it. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Well, I tell you what, man, that 7300 is an awesome rig. That's what I'm running here. I've had it for about a year and a half. And I uh, before this, I ran an IC7000 for a lot of years. And, uh, you know, it's just, and then my wife just, I well, after him and Han for like two or three years, my wife got irritated at just listening to me, you know, talk about this 7300 and, and literally threw a credit card at me and said, just buy the damn thing. I'm tired of hearing about it. <laughs> So that's, uh, that's what I got here. I got IC7300, high LPR781, uh, Dentron Clipper 10 L, about five or 600 watts out here. My antenna is a, uh, a homemade 20-meter monoband horizontal dipole. Uh, it's built out of aluminum. I just kind of cobbled it together here a couple months back and put it up in the air about 30 feet. Works really good. That thing is broadside east and west, too, there, Roger. Thank you, Bill. Yeah, your uh, Dentron is doing a great job. It's a great old amplifier, and... Uh, Wish I had one. I have an SC200 down in the basement. I haven't even, uh, I haven't even brought it upstairs because I haven't needed it. Uh, do pretty good. Uh, it's a 7200 barefoot. Yeah, I really hope you get some better antennas up here. I've been at QTH for uh, two years now, so uh, hopefully uh, in the near future we'll get some better antennas up and maybe a little more power. But yeah, I've been having a whole lot of fun with the 7200 barefoot. Uh, let's go, uh, 
Yankee, Delta, Delta. Roger, Roger there, sir. All right, I appreciate the 10 over 9 there on the Peaks. That's a really good deal. I, I like hearing that. So, anyway, thank you very much for the contact there, sir. And uh, and we'll catch you next time around. I did get you logged into QRZ, just so you know. And I uh, hope you have a great rest of your evening out there. Thank you very much for the contact. The pleasure's all on my end there, sir. Whiskey Alpha 3, Yankee Delta Charlie, Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra, out here in central Montana. 73, my friend. <laughs> You are Zed. Yeah, I think I heard a Kilo 4. Kilo 4 again. Alpha Kilo 4, Romeo Victor. Okay, Alpha Kilo 4, Romeo Victor. Looks like Milton in Florida there. QSL? QSL on the Milton, but I'm currently transmitting on a vacation here in north central New Mexico. Roger, Roger, you're in New Mexico. Well, I was just about to let you know there, Milton, that you got a, a bird on your uh, dipole there. Yeah, I, I just want to let you know that. But since you're in New Mexico, you probably don't have a bird on your dipole there. Hi, hi. Yeah, yeah, that bird uh, found a nice cozy spot there on that. I think it was a great opportunity to take a photograph. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool. That's, that's unique because, you know, I probably wouldn't have done that. Um, I don't even know why, but it's pretty cool because that's the first thing I saw. I pulled up your QRZ page, and it's like, hey, look, there's a bird on his antenna. That's pretty cool. You know, you just you just don't see it very often, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I think it's really cool there. But uh, you got a good signal up here from New Mexico, man. You're a good 5.8 to 5.9 there, Roger. Thank you for the 5.8, 5.9. You are 5.9. Yeah, I think I'll be copy, copy there, Milton. I appreciate the 5.9 plus 10. That last go-around, you did drop a little bit, but... That's just conditions, man. 20 meters is doing what it does. So, yeah, nothing you're doing wrong on your end. So, all righty there, sir. Well, I did get you logged in, uh, into uh, QRZ there. And I do want to say I really appreciate the contact out there. Stay cool around New Mexico. I know it's been pretty darn hot, I'm assuming. But, uh, I don't know, maybe you, you guys get some of that monsoon stuff happen there last week? Nah, we didn't get a whole lot of monsoon here in New Mexico. I know it was hitting Arizona and Nevada pretty hard. But uh, New Mexico has been kind of dry for the monsoon this, this, this year. Oh, uh, copy, copy. Yeah, I seen some uh, some footage there, like Nevada, and I'm like, holy cow! Like that's that's crazy. I mean, I guess we kind of get stuff like that around here, but not to that extent, you know, not even close. So there you go. All right, Milton. Well, thank you very much, there, sir. I'm glad you didn't get rained out or flooded away or nothing like that. So great to make your acquaintance. Great to make a contact with you, sir. Uh, Alpha Kilo Four Romeo Victor. Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor, Sierra, up here in central Montana. 73, my friend. 73. Yeah, QRZ. Yeah, I heard a golf, golf. Golf, golf again. Kilo, Foxtrot, Zero, Juliet, golf, golf. All right, Kilo, Foxtrot, Juliet, golf, golf. Looks like Greg there in Kansas. QSL. QSL, you're 5 down in Kansas. Roger, Roger. Got you about a 5 and 7, about a 57 into central Montana there. Roger, Roger. Uh, Roger, 7 3. Have a great one, Travis. Thank you very much there, Greg. I appreciate you getting in there tonight, and I uh, hope you have a great rest of your evening there, sir. Uh, Kilo Foxtrot Zero, Juliet Golf Golf, Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra, 73 and QRZ. Kilo Delta Zero, 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 Okay, Kilo Delta Zero again. Kilo Delta Zero, Sierra Delta Sierra. All right, Kilo Delta Zero, Sierra Delta Sierra. Looks like uh, Clifford there in Kansas, or Cliff there, QSL. Yeah, here I'm Kansas, QSL. I'm back from Central Illinois right now. Roger, Roger on the mobile. Well, you were coming in there real strong, and you kind of faded out on me, but I logged you as about a 5 and 7, man. About a 5 and 7 in a Montana there, Roger. Copy, copy there, Cliff. All right, man. Well, you kind of faded out on me a little bit there. Again, probably not your fault. I'm sure it's just conditions doing what it does, so... Anyway, there you go, man. But I got you in the logbook there. That's all that matters. So thank you very much there, sir. And you mobile safe out there. And we'll catch you next time around there, my friend. Kilo Delta Zero, Sierra Delta Sierra. Whiskey 7, Tango Victor Sierra. 73, sir. 73 means best wishes. 
Alright, uh, QRZ again. Okay, Kilo Lima Bravo again. Roger, Roger. There we go. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo, Kevin in Hampton, Iowa. Uh, you're sounding good. Now, what the heck? Okay. <laughs> I've got to ask. What is, What is the corn antenna? Oh, I put uh, two corn stalks together to make them. Uh, Roger, Roger. That's really interesting. That's cool that you did that. Uh, here about, uh, and I kind of had a feel that's kind of what was going on there. This was a number of years ago, and uh, I'll tell you, it was at a uh, field day, and me and my buddies, it was getting late, and we may or may not have had a couple of adult beverages, and uh, somebody had a corn dog. And we thought it was a good idea to shunt feed the corn dog and tune it up on two meters there, high, high. Oh my God, did it work? It did. It, it did work. We, we, we ran an HT into it, and uh, it, it hit a repeater, and we talked on it. And as the RF cooked the corn dog, it went out of resonance, and we could no longer hit the repeater. But we, we actually we actually resonated the corn dog. Wow, that's awesome. Well, I have the same thing. We about a half hour. And then the moisture dried out of the stock, the stem, and then I couldn't communicate after that over. Yep, and that's exactly, I think, what happened there. Like I said, it started cooking it, so everything was changing there. Um, you know, and it uh, it was just a cheap HT. I can't remember what the heck kind of was. It was so many years ago. But it was just a, a cheap OHT that somebody had. And, uh yeah, and it worked, you know, until it didn't. But uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was. It's interesting to say, you know, and we, we, me and a few of my hand buddies still joke about that, about resonating corn dogs, you know, and people just kind of go ha ha ha, and it's like, well, we did it, but you know, but yeah, I can see the corn stalks doing the same thing there, that's for sure. But you're right, as soon as they start to dry out there, then that's it. You can cook and eat yours. I can eat mine. Over. I don't think that we, I don't even remember what we did with that. I imagine we just threw it away. I'm not quite sure there. Maybe fed it to one of the dogs or something. But anyway, <laughs> well, that's a good deal, man. I love it. I think that's great that you experiment with stuff like that because that's what ham radio is all about, just going out here and uh, and just messing around and seeing what works and what doesn't and getting creative with it too, you know. So I absolutely love it. All right, Kevin, I really appreciate the contact there, sir, from Iowa. And I uh, hope you have a great rest of your evening there. And if you ever, I, man, I hope to talk to somebody talking on a, on a corn stock there, the corn corn cob antenna, the corn stock antenna. I think that would be really cool. So, yeah, maybe one of these days it'll happen. You never know. All right there, sir. You have a great rest of your evening. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo, Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor Sierra out here in Belt, Montana. 73, my friend. Thank you for taking my call. Have a good night. You as well, sir. Thank you very much. Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor Sierra, QRZ. Kilo Juliet 7, Sierra, Uniform Alpha. Okay, was that Kilo Juliet 7, Sierra, Uniform Alpha? Is that what I heard? Uh, Roger, that, that is correct, uh, Travis. Uh, this is Robin. Name here is Robin. I'm about uh, 50 miles west of Kilo Juliet 7, uh, in Pahrump, Nevada, USL. Roger, Roger, then Robin. Okay, well, cool, man. Yeah, I see you there on Pahrump. I've been through Pahrump before. I don't think I ever stopped, but I've been through there. I got you about a 5.6 to 5.7 up here in the Montana tonight there, QSL. Uh, yeah, copy that. Uh, you would be 5.9. That is 59 here into uh, a little bit west of Las Thanks for the follow. Roger, Roger, I do appreciate the 5.9. I think uh, I'm going to have to step aside here for just a minute. I think something got plugged in upstairs there, and it's like knocking my receiver out completely. So I need to go figure out what the heck that is. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for the contact there, sir. Uh, Robin, like I said, whatever got plugged in upstairs is completely knocking my receiver out now. So i got to go upstairs and unplug whatever it is. So anyway, there you go. All right, sir, I appreciate it. I got you in the logbook. Uh, Kilo Juliet 7 Sierra Uniform Alpha. Whiskey 7, Tango, Victor, Sierra, 73, my friend. And uh, I'll be back here in about a minute or two. got to figure out what's causing my interference. I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
down so thank you guys for watching and uh i really appreciate you i'd like to make some more contacts out here but uh it's not gonna happen tonight i'm getting completely blasted out qrm and uh anyway hope everybody has a good night 73 whiskey 7 tango victor sierra